Hi everyone, um, my name is Zach Kawaya, but you can just call me Zach. Um, I'll be talking about my predictions for 2022 U.S. Nationals figure skating. Alright, so I have here a list. Oh yes. A list of all the scores uh, starting from uh, the U.S. Championship Series 2022. I did. I wrote down all of them, honey. Like, okay. Yes. Mm hmm. All eight of them. 18 people who qualified for nationals, but one withdrew. So let me just get that uh, out of the way. Brady Tanel withdrew uh, just two days ago, I believe, on her Instagram. She said it. And for her ankle or her foot injury. So we, instead of 18, we'll just have 17 competing for nationals. Win Warren Jacobson. Now, in the championship series, her highest free skate score was actually, her total score was at, was a 162.05, and I have her in 18th place. In 17th place, I have Alina Butko, who on a total of 163.95 in the championship series. Now in 16th that I have placed is Finley Hawk. Her highest total was 164.29. In 15th, who I have my prediction would be Rena Ikenishi with 169.75. Now in 14th, I have Hannah Harrell, who scored a 158.89. Now, that score was for, I believe that was for the um, Golden Skate, Golden Cup Zagreb. And she has other high totals. Now, her highest total for her U.S. Series Championships was 171.51 but she did other two events international events and she just her scores were just really low and it just kept getting lower and lower now her last event was the golden cup zagreb and where she scored a 57.30 in the short program and her free skate she scored a 101.59 with a score of 158.89. Okay. Now, I love Hannah Hill. Like, don't get me wrong. She is like maybe the only US lady that can jump with arms over the head. Now, reasons why I put Hannah Hill in 14th is because I don't know how good she's going to do at nationals. Now, depending if she can get all her jumps and skating, she'll be in the top 10 but right now from her last event in December she stands in 14th place moving on up to 13th who I have is Kate Wang or Kate Wong uh, she scored a 55.40 in her sorry program and her free skate was a 115.42 her total was 170.82 in the championship series in 12th, who I have in my prediction list is Gabriella Izzo. Now, Gabriella Izzo has a much higher total score in the championship series. She scored um, 193.69 in the championship series, which qualified her for nationals. But she did other two events, international events. The first one was the Warsaw, I think I'm saying that correct, I'm not sure. The Warsaw Cup Challenge, I think that's what it was. And the other one was, her last one was uh, the Golden Skate uh, Zagreb, or Cup Zagreb, my bad. And she scored a 62.91 in the short program, and her free skate was 105.05, which wasn't her best compared to her championship series. So she scored a 167.96, which I placed her in 12th overall. 
In 11th, I have Aju Shin. Aju Shin, we first saw her compete at um, Skate America. And she also did other events, such as, I believe it was the Finlandia, I think. I might be wrong. So Aju Shin, she scored 172.46, which was at the, I believe that was the first international event. In Canada, I believe it was the. It was the Canada thingy. It was in September. That's all I remember. But then she came and competed in November and she scored lower with the 169.99. Now, that's just two months later. So I don't really know where she stands. So I just put her in 11th place. And three points ahead of her is Gracie Go standing in 10th place. Woo, my girl. I'm winning for her. Now, she's been getting uh, some pretty good scores. Like, her story program is a 67.49. And her free skate was 108.27 in the free skate. Her total score is a 175.76, which is... Three points higher than addition the combined total scores. Now, I would put Gracie Gold maybe if she gets all her jumps in the free skate, I would say easily top eight, maybe top seven, maybe top six, we don't know. Uh, depending on how good she does in the short program for those extra free points, if she can, you know, really get that triple triple clean. Instead of a quarter under rotated, she'll do great. Now in ninth, I have Sierra Veneta, who is four points ahead of Gracie Go with a total of 179.39. With her story program was really low uh, compared to Gracie Go's. Uh, Sierra Veneta has a 57.81, while Gracie Go's story program is a 67.49. But we'll see Elba comes, comes and gets her points is the free skate with 121.58. In 8th place, I have Star Andrews. Uh, her total highest is 177.63. I actually believe Star Andrews has been getting better. If you go look at her last uh, Star Program event, I think it was with, I think it was like, it was a few days ago. I put it right here. As you can see. Now, Star Andrews has been getting better. I've seen her spins and jumps. They've been getting faster, more cleaner. So I think she can be a strong top eight if she can get nail all the jumps. Now, I know she's been trying to get that triple axle for her uh, short program. I'm not sure she's actually going to do it for her long program. But I do remember she did break 70 in her short program a few months ago. So hopefully we'll see her break 70 at Nationals. And I just love that short program dress. It's so pretty. And she sings her own song in the short program at last. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. In seventh, I have Lindsay Thorngren. Now, Lindsay is a toss-up. Okay, so in October, her highest uh, total was a 202.60, which was what she skated uh, in the championship series, which is her highest. Now, she was actually, she's actually in first place the, for the ones that made the U.S. National. Uh, she has the highest total for the championship series with... Uh, Nine points ahead of everybody, ahead of Gabriella Izzo. Now, reasons being why I have her low is because her last event that she did was in November, a month later, and she didn't really do that well. She had a 184.40 overall. She double footed her triple action in the short program, but she didn't fall. She did landed but it was double footed and yeah
I don't really know if she's going to do it at Nationals, but I'm pretty sure she will. Now, I do see the speed, and I do see that it's there, but if she wants to make the Olympic team, she's going to have to go clean. Okay. Um, if she can do all her jumps, she'll be an easily top four, maybe top three, but that's if she's really, really good, like, on the money. In sixth place, I have Abel Glenn. Now, I love Abel Glenn. Like, I want her to go to the Olympics. But reasons being, here is what happens. Why I have her in sixth place. Alright? So, she competed at Skate America, which was her highest total highest total score with a 201.02 but her last event was in uh, December 7th 2021 where she competed at Golden Cup Zagreb and she was 20 points lower than her Skate America total score. Her score program was a 64.45 compared to her Skate America, which she skated to 67.57, a three point difference. But she changed her story program back to uh, Scars. I tear my heart open. Just for a heads up, you're gonna see it at Nationals. I know, three years in a row, she brought it back. But I think it's a smart move. But I also have a other sort of program. Uh, but we're just going to have to see which one she choos chooses. Maybe she did scores to see. Maybe she wants to go back to that program. And maybe she's decided to go back to Sokol's sort of program. But I don't really know. As of now, she's sticking with scars for her sort of program. And... Her free skate was 118.91 in December, compared to her Skate America free skate, which was 133.5. Sorry, 133.45. Okay. So, reasons why I have her in sixth place is because I'm just going by the last event that they did, not compared to, I know the highest scores. I'm just going based on. What was the last event and what was the highest scores? So we can kind of see where they stand all together. And so she stands with 183.36. Now, if Emma Glenn can get her triple axel and her sword program and her free skate, which I really hope she puts it in because it will really, you know, give her the confidence to, you know, Tell the judges, you know, I'm here, I'm still in it, don't count me out. With Amber Glenn, I do believe she has all the goods to to be the uh, U.S. national champion. Now, reasons why I'm saying that is because if you see her TikTok, she does jumps with arms over the head or one arm over the head doing a triple edge, uh, triple toe loop. And I'm like, girl... If you can do this on TikTok, you can do this at nationals, or you can just do this in like Grand Prix events, you know? And I get so upset because, yes, I know she's probably scared or nervous to try the arms over the head, but like, if she does, she lands it cleanly. Like, go check her out, she's amazing on TikTok. But I'm like, if she can do it in nationals, she can prove the judges wrong and get them. To know that I can compete with the best with getting positive GOEs with arms over the head while doing a triple let's triple toe loop. And she can do it with a triple uh, triple flip. She has all the goods. She just needs to, you know, not worry about whatever she's thinking and just focus on the routine, on the choreography, or on, on the counts, whatever it is. She can do it. Now, he was a wild card, a junior Grand Prix finalist. 
Now she is too young to compete for uh, for the Olympics, but she is really good. She is a new figure skater up and coming. Her name is Isabel Lavetto. Her highest uh, total score is a 208.31. That is higher than Amber Glenn Skate America. Amber Glenn skated. Um, Amber Glenn's total score was a 201.02 at Skate America, while Isabel had a 208.31. And I'm really excited to see her, to see how good she's going to be because she is going to be the future of, you know, figure skating in the U.S. Um, and fourth, I have Brady Snell, but obviously she withdrew for health injury reasons um so i think isabel would be in fourth for the pewter medal and here was my top three are you guys ready and third with the blondes who i have in my predictions is karen chin now whole story program is just two points uh it's just two points from uh being forced overall for the sort program. Now, Karen Chin has a 67.50 for her sort program, which is, let's see, which was her highest sort program in the Grand Prix event. Now, a month later, she's, uh, her sort program went down three points with a 64.67, but I believe Karen Chin is, she, look, listen, you cannot count Karen Chin out because every time she steps out on nationals, she always gets it done. She gets the job done. So that's why I went to her highest, uh, her highest start program score rather than her last event that she did. And let's see. Now her free skate is a 134.99 and her overall score is a 202.49. Which is eight points away from who I have, and second, who might get the silver medal, is Mariah Bell. Now, Mariah Bell, she proved herself that she is still in the game at the at the Grand Prix event, which was the last event in uh, Wasta Lincoln Cup in Russia. Her free skate was a sixty-nine. No, her short program was a sixty-nine point three seven. Just shy from hitting 70 with the sort program I I think her sort program is safe I just wish you she, she would go back to her Britney sort program now that program just screams component scores component scores done but uh, the whole for her new sort program is just eh, it's safe I mean it's pretty I don't mind it it's just it's not as good as her sort uh, her program that she did two years ago to uh, Britney Spears. Now her free skate is a 140.98, which is second best highest U.S. Uh, ladies free skate. The highest in the U.S. the highest free skate is a 144.93, which is by Alyssa Liu, which is what she did for. I believe it was in Canada the it was the first uh, event that they ever did so in second place overall with a total of 210.35 is Mariah Bell now my if she can get her triple triple I don't really know if she can uh, now she did like a, a send-off video uh, she would us. She did it with uh, Nathan Chin and Star Andrews. You can go see that. It's on YouTube. Uh, she tried the triple triple in her story program and she fell. Now she got the triple lutz, but she just could not hold on to the triple uh, triple loop, uh, triple toe loop. This makes you wonder, because uh, the. Olympic committee that chooses, you know, like the, who goes to the team. Uh, a triple double, really, Mariah Bell. As Dave, David, and uh, David Lee and Jonathan were talking about in the skating lesson, 
that's what they were saying uh, Mariah Belt really a triple double which is kind of true they're not wrong because like uh, in the past year she's been doing triple triple and she's got it but we did see her fall with the triple double in the Grand Prix uh, a few months ago and also at nationals last year uh, so if she can get the triple triple she can easily be Alyssa Liu and get fourth place but the reasons why I have Alyssa Liu in fourth place is because uh, you know her free skate is like an Olympic worthy free skate moment and her boom and spin is just so fast and so pretty she just gains so much GOE points for that it's just so gorgeous um Alyssa Liu her historic program, her highest is a 74.31, but her last event, she scored a 67.72 in the free, in her historic program, which is really below 70, just three points away. And her free skate, her last event that she did was a 135.18. Which gives her a 202.90. Uh, now, compared if okay, so here we go. She's we all know she switched coaches to uh, get better at her better at her technique. Um, but we don't know how good she's gonna do. I we pulled that she got a new short program. Which I really hope because I really like that sort of program. It's really, it just screams, you know, that she's trying to get good at component and, you know, really try. Um, but we just see what happens at Nationals. I hear that it was either Alyssa Liu or Karen Chen that they got a new sort of program, but we just have to see and wait. Uh, Now, if Alyssa Liu can uh, at least get a quad, which I highly doubt, um, because we haven't really heard anything this a few months about if she's going to do a quad or not, but we did see her land a triple axel a few times in the Grand Prix. So yeah, this is my list right here. Anything can change, right? If you want to be in the last skating group for the free skate in the top six, you have to skate a, with a 67 or higher in the short program. Now, here are the ladies who've skated 67 or higher. Alyssa Liu, 74.31. Alyssa Liu, in December, 67.72. Mariah Bell, Watch the Lincoln Cup, 69.37. Karen Chen, 67.50. Amber Glenn, Skate America, 67.57. Gracie Go, 67.49. And I'm going to put Isabel Lovetto in the mix because she's really good and you just got to watch out for her. Now, I think Amber Glenn can actually be in the top six. What it's going to come down to is the free skate. That's going to get, that's what's going to be determined if you make the Olympic team or not. The free skate is going to determine who makes it or who breaks it, right? So, what I would do is work on your short program the most, alright? Because if you are in the top six final group, you have that confidence and which is going to help you feel a little bit more relaxed, more calm for the free skate and you're going to be ready. The people who scored who scored over 67 or higher is Alyssa Liu, Mariah Bell, Karen Chen, Amber Glenn, Gracie Gold, and Isabel. These are the top six. Now, 
for the free skate, it can go either way. I believe uh, things can get wacky in the free skate. Like you have you have Hannah Hill who scored 110 Ohio, but her last event was 101. So I don't really know where she stands. That's why the free skate is going to determine who is ready for the Olympics. Now Gabriella Izzo, she's another one like Hannah Harrell. You don't know what to expect. If she can, if she can get all her jumps, she'll most likely be in the top six. And Star Andrews is the same thing as well. Even Lindsay Thorgren and Audrey Shin, those are like wild cards. That's why I put these ladies from 7th to 14th place because they'll just really close in the marks close to each other so yeah that is my prediction now leave your comments down below if you like what i have to say or leave something that you want to say in the comments below this is just based on score numbers right i did not do favoritism at all i went Strictly on, you know, I also did Body of Work, who's been doing good and staying, uh, you know, consistent or kind of consistent. And I believe Alyssa Liu, Mariah Bell, Karen Chen, Isabel, Amber Glenn, and Lindsay Thorgren, and Star Andrews would be like top seven or one of those ladies would be in the top six, that's all I can say. Uh, overall, top six for the total scores. Um, but you just don't know. The story program, Locked In, who I believe would be in the top six uh, final group, as I said before. Alyssa Liu, Amber Glenn, Karen Chen, Isabeau Lovetto, Amber Glenn, and hopefully Gracie Go. Now, with the U.S. Nationals on on the way, with which starts in January 6th, which is the short program for the ladies event. Uh, stay tuned. Two days. Let's see. And I'll be back with another video. I'll do my reactions to the short program. Just give me time because I have to walk. Yes. It's time to eat. Hold an edge and skate sexy, everybody. That is not my line. That is Dave, David Lee's. <laughs> From the skating lesson. You, look, if you watch my video, make sure you like it. Make sure you watch the latest video on the skating lessons. The skating lessons YouTube channel. And go watch that because I need to go finish that. But it's really good. They gave some good good uh feedback on what's gonna happen and what they think is gonna happen all right so oh. here's my christmas tree okay so i don't have a tagline so you know what we're gonna do for the ending of this video elizabetha tuk tamishiba yes that's the ending the Empress. Bye.